Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your January 2021 messages from Spirit Reading and it is for the sign of Cancer. So I hope you're well and let's get straight into your reading and pull your Spirit Message card. Okay, oh, okay. So Cancer, the message is a mother's love. I mean, obviously that might be for some of you. So this says a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. Isn't that beautiful? So definitely this energy of being watched over for some of you. I'll pull one more. See what other, any other message we get for you and remember the messages can just be something big or something small or specific can just be advice so let's see what we get for you cancer okay so we have dream talk your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages and more. I mean, there's definitely an energy of you're being sent some kind of signs, messages, guidance. You might notice synchronicities. You might notice things that just happen this week that remind you of somebody or that guide you in a specific direction, you know. It's that kind of energy. Could be to do with this card as well. So very nice energy, all the same. Okay. Let's put those there. Okay. Message for Cancer, please. Angels, spirits, guides. What does Cancer need to hear the most, please? from spirit okay so we have number four awakened spirit desire to change i mean this is sometimes the wake-up call it, it is sometimes now is the time to bring change to a situation here and it might well be that you're being guided here it feels very beautiful okay cancer so let's pop those cards there I'm going to pull three cards. First card is the issue or challenge you need help from spirit on. The second card is the advice from spirit. And the third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, Cancer. Okay. So what do we have for Cancer, please? January 2021. Message for our lovely Cancerians, please. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups and that's with the Three of Swords. That's in your challenge position. The Empress is very nice. It's advice from Spirit and your outcome. Oh my goodness, Council, you've got the Sun. The most positive card of the tarot deck. Very beautiful indeed. So let's clarify these cards and go deep into the message. Can we clarify these cards, please? Angel Spirits Guides for Cancer. Message from Spirit. What does Cancer need to hear? Thank you. Yeah, we've got the moon. Oh my goodness, the wheel of fortune. And the sun. We have with the nine of pentacles. Bottom of the deck. Absolutely beautiful energy, Cancer. It's very powerful energy here. We've got the six of pentacles. So Cancer, it feels in this situation there's, design, there's a desire to change something now and you're being guided. It feels that you're being guided because it's almost kind of like the universe is, is seeing this pain, this emotional hurt that's being caused you 
Now, I mean, the Three of Swords, it, it is a card of someone, a situation causing you emotional pain. That could be in a relationship here. I mean, sometimes this is about the heartbreak card. It can be about third party situations. It can also be to do with just somebody who's hurt you deeply, you know. And the beautiful energy is you've got to listen to your intuition now because you're being guided to emotional renewal. You're being guided in a new direction now. And this is the change. The pages are the beginnings of change, the beginnings of something new. Yeah. And the moon energy is, again, an intuitive energy. This is an energy, I mean, again, this energy of dream talk. I mean, the moon can be dream energy. So it might well be for some of you, there's an energy of, of some dreams or uh, psychic messages or intuitive messages may be coming to you and you need to recognize them, take action on them. Because this is a card of intuition, trust your intuition, you're being given hidden blessings. And even though you don't see the big picture, how things are going to pan out here, the universe does. And there is an energy of, of surrender, release, give it up to the universe, trust your intuition now. Uh, it's when we have lack of clarity, the moon, that's when we need to trust our intuition to see our way forward in a situation. And it definitely feels for some of you, that's what you need to do. And it feels like there's been some emotional pain caused you here, Cancer, I have to say. And the beautiful thing here is, I mean, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is divine timing, orchestration, things happening when they're meant to happen, feeling of things being beyond your control, but it's almost kind of like this energy of the universe is in charge here. I mean, you've got really powerful energies, the moon, the Wheel of Fortune, the sun, these are powerful divine energies. The Wheel of Fortune is good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. It can tie in with things like synchronicities, obstacles being removed. But it is that transmutable energy of endings and beginnings. As you allow yourself to release maybe a painful period of your life, this is about that turning point, allowing things to move forward towards a new start, new beginnings, new doors opening. It's a great card of expansion, growth. Um, good things, the universe wanting to bring you gifts. It's that kind of energy. Um, and it's a feel-good energy as well. It is a feel-good energy, the Wheel of Fortune. It feels like things are about to look up for you. I mean, certainly in terms of this opens up opportunities, it opens doors. Uh, it's a great energy of life cycles as well. But there's definitely an energy of things will turn in your favour. If you felt that things haven't been turning in your favour and you don't know if things are going to change, there's definitely an energy of changes in the cards. And that's what, that's what definitely we're getting here, this desire to change, this change energy. You want change. Well, there's definitely a message of change is coming. And it's for the better. Because we have it with the Empress, which is a card of... I mean, she is a great icon of abundance. So if this is to do with money and career... She is a great energy of abundance. You lack for nothing to bring a change to your situation now, a turning point. Um, she is some, somebody who is who understands how to create their reality. She is number three, the first signs of making something real. So she is somebody who gives birth to something new, 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 very much in terms of money, career, or it can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. But uh, there's also an energy with the Empress of somebody who has, who is fully content in their own reality because they have exactly what they need. They have exactly what they want, what they need, their desires. She's a feeling of bountifulness. So if you felt a lack of bounty, there's an energy of things are going to change here. Yeah, she's very connected to who she is as well, Cancer. So again, this feels like I mean, it could be you in your own right as well. If there has been some kind of, of breakup in a relationship, for example, the Empress is an energy of somebody who sits in their own right. I mean, she can open the door to new love for you, new love connections, but she's also somebody who is very um, self-sufficient, bountiful in her own right. She understands just how to be in her own space. And that might resonate for some of you as well. 
but she like i said very good in terms of money and career as well we do have some money cards here too um the pentacles energy can be to do with your money and career can also be to do with uh self-worth self-esteem in this energy the nine of pentacles can also be uh to do with your home your health you know that kind of energy but the sun is about you're going to come through the other side of this situation because a powerful turning point is happening for you this month and it's divinely orchestrated things happening when they're meant to happen a whole load of synchronicities coincidences might happen for you this month a cancer um, the sun energy is everything will become clear. I mean, I have the moon where you not, don't have clarity and then the sun energy, which is everything will become clear. And it's almost kind of like moving from that shadow to light. And that is the turning point. Things are going to turn around for you. I love this energy. I really do. The sun is, is a feel good energy again. It feels in your own emotions, in your own uh, energy, things are going to be uplifted, things are going to be re-energized. I mean, this is a great card of restoration as well. And it's somebody who is restored, restored even, in their own light, in their own right. The Nine of Pentacles can be a card of independence. That could be in relationships, that could be in self-sufficiency in terms of business and career. You could have your own business here or starting your own business. Um, also very good in terms of getting uh, of things beginning to happen where you get back on top in money and career. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of luxury and material success by hard work. And, you know, there's a sense of accomplishment here and somebody feeling pretty good about it. I mean, both of these cards are very feel good energies. So it feels like there's definitely growth that things are definitely going to look up for you. It feels very beautiful indeed. I mean, very, very lovely indeed. Because the universe with the six of pentacles is saying it's your time to receive. It's your time to receive. Um, and generally the six of pentacles comes when you've been working hard at something, when you've been trying to focus on something, to manifest something. I mean, that could be in terms of money career. That could be about working hard to move on from this Three of Swords situation, whatever it represented for you. Um, but there's definitely an energy of you're going to get the balance about the equilibrium in your life. Um, can be about windfalls, this card as well. Windfalls, uh, some money coming your way, sometimes inheritance as well. Uh, but it definitely feels, I mean, you know, in terms of this, whether it's to do with, I mean, the message remains the same. Whatever life area it is, Cancer, it feels for some of you that there is a powerful turning point, a powerful shift coming for you. Things are going to turn around in your favour. If you've been, again, caught in this shadow energy, which can really play with your emotions somewhat, it feels like everything is going to become revitalized. You will come through the other side of a situation. Everything will become clear. Step into your light. Uh, celebration, joy, good news, happiness. So I love the energy here. Beautiful. And remember, there is definitely an energy of, certainly with this mother's love and dream talk, you are being guided. I mean, that page of cups is really important because it's listening to your heart. It's listening to your intuition and acting upon it. Just surrender and going where your heart, your intuition leads you. It feels very beautiful indeed. And that's because you're being guided, possibly by somebody from the other side. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Cancer. Thank you. Okay, I've got three cards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this, Cancer. So we've got the Raven, wise woman. A change is coming. I mean, it might well be, you know, because this says wise woman and we have the Empress, there could be, I mean, sometimes, you know, she's a motherly energy. I have to say, I mean, she is Mother Earth. You know, I'm 
it's funny how the cards are coming out with a mother's love here. Um, but there could also be a woman of influence in your life who is bringing this turning point. So powerful energy. So a change is coming. Graven, wise woman, a change is coming. Or influential in bringing this turning point. We have honeybee, divine feminine. You are being called on to rise. Isn't that beautiful? And finally, cancer. I mean, very much the empress energy. We have koi carp, abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around you and through you. Isn't that beautiful? So I hope you have a wonderful a wonderful January and if you enjoyed the reading please do like share and subscribe and I will see you later bye